The New York Yankees are what you've seen in the first three months of the season. They're about a 500 team at best. You've noticed in the first half of the season, they've really been around 500, a few games above, a few games below. Nothing better than that. It's tough for this team to get on any kind of a run for two reasons. The starting pitching has been a little shaky. And the offense, well, when you're talking about one of the four or five worst offenses in the American League, when you play in a small ballpark at Yankee Stadium, and with the payroll that they have, well, there's no doubt that this team has underachieved, but I don't see it getting much better. So the key to the second half of the season will come soon after the All-Star break, when general manager Brian Cashman will trade either or both of Aroldis Chapman and Andrew Miller. Now, Miller has the highest upside. He can impact not just this pennant race, as Chapman would, but two more after this one because of the length of his contract. Now, he can bring the Yankees not just lottery tickets in terms of prospects, but major league ready position players who are ready to step in and be everyday players for the Yankees. The Yankees have to get younger, and that's going to have to start right after the All-Star break and before the trade deadline with two of the most valuable trade chips in baseball.